Peace and blessings, whole family. I love you all. I'm hoping it got that clip, the little clip of the Rage Ritual Retreat that uh, Maya Magic had done and everything where they go out into the wilderness and take sticks and stuff and just beat them into the ground and scream to release pent-up trauma. Which, yeah, that actually can be a very profound practice to do, you know, once or twice. But I do want to explain why this is not something that you want to continue to do as a spiritual practice, as a release. And I'm going to explain why. So whenever you are doing these rituals, whenever you're feeling upset or having distress in your life and stuff, basically what you're doing is you're retraining your mind that whenever a stressful situation comes up, you need to uh, react in a snappy, aggressive, more violent manner. And what it is, is uh, in scientific terms, you would say it is connecting new neural pathways. And when you are continuously doing something over and over and over, you're strengthening those neural pathways to make that actually a part of your personality yourself, that you will just be snappy and quick to jump judgment, quick to jump to conclusions and stuff. Um, within Tantra and yoga and within Sanatana Dharma, it's, uh, it would be a samskara. You know, we have these vrittis, like waves of the mind, the fluctuations of the mind stuff that bounces around. And when you have a, a vritti that you're repeatedly going back to and repeating over and over and over again, it becomes a samskara. It becomes an impression. It becomes like a, neuro, a new neural pathway. And then you are 10 times more likely to you know act in that way when you're actually confronted with some real stress when some real things start to happen and and you uh, are back to the fight or flight natural instincts you're going to go to what you've been training your mind to do so you're literally going to be ah! beating with sticks and stuff and also another thing four thousand dollars for that retreat wow that really is some rich people stuff I don't know how in the world somebody could afford $4,000 to go beat sticks in the woods. But, I mean, yeah, it can be good for one or two times just to kind of release a lot of that pent-up trauma or something. But do something that's more in alignment with the life that you want to lead and the path that you want to have. So there's plenty of ways without screaming and beating with sticks that you can do that. You can do a really hardcore yoga session. You could do big, long Tai Chi or Qigong session where you're moving the energy and learning how to manipulate the energy and learning how to tame it and move it from the places that is trapped in your body into other places. But there's plenty, plenty, plenty of practices that you can do that will be healthy for you, that will be good for you, and that will help you be able to be a mature, powerful human. But yeah, I love you guys. I better cut this for any of the sounds in the background mess up my stuff. But I love you guys. Y'all have a peaceful day. Peace.